Now, you know, I've spent a lot of time around game developers during the final hours of development on their games, and sometimes you, you just can't do anything but think about finishing your game, and you can't travel anywhere, you're focused in the studio. But now it's time to introduce a guest who is only weeks away from finishing his next title, but that didn't stop him from flying halfway around the world to be here at Gamescom with us tonight. I'm so honored that he's here. You may know who I'm talking about, but take a look at this. Hideo Kojima is not here with us uh, tonight. Unfortunately, he was uh, or he would uh, not be allowed to uh, travel to uh, tonight's awards ceremony to uh, accept um, any awards. I brought an early gift. Please enjoy. The one and only Hideo Kojima. Industry icon. Fantastic. Such an honor to work with you. Uh, you're such a genius. He is one of the most principled, loyal, and ethical men I have ever met. I love games. I love this world. I really love you all from my heart. I'd do anything for this guy, for real. Oh, yeah. Gamescom, strand on your feet. He's here, the one and only Hideo Kojima. Mr. Kojima, it is such an honor to have you with us. I know how I, hard you've been working to finish up this. Gamescom, I've returned after five years to visit Gamescom again. <laughs> it's great to have you back, and everyone's going crazy. Look at the selfies happening here live. <laughs> Death Stranding is in the final really crunch time of development stage, and I shouldn't actually be here, but I really wanted to meet you all, so I came to Germany. Mr. Kojima, always here for his fans and for us, which is so amazing. Uh, so, Mr. Kojima, we know that you're, as you said, just about finishing up the game, and everyone's very curious, the whole world is curious, what you can tell us about this game um, and what you want to share tonight with all of us. So, what can you tell us about what you want to introduce? あの、あのですね、あの、デスストランディングは、え、全く新しいオープンワールドのゲームだと思ってください。あの、僕はその新しいものを作ってますけども、皆さん気に入っていただければと思います。<笑> Death Stranding is a totally new game. It's an open world game, and it's a very, very new, and I hope that everyone will like it. So, since it was quite popular to show a new character at Comic Con, today I would like to uh, introduce uh, more new characters today. Uh, well, let's look at the first one. Okay, let's take a look at the first character from Mr. Kojima. Yeah.
Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. Not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. That was kind of the introduction uh, scene of uh, Mama, uh, played by Miss uh, Quali uh, Margaret Qualley. あの、デストランディングにはすごくユニークなキャラがいっぱい登場して、え、メインストリー、メインストリーの他に各キャラクターの伏線がいっぱい絡み合ってできあがってるお話です。So there are a lot of characters appear in Death Stranding and each uh, unique character has like a sub-story from um, apart from the main story. で、ママは、え、お腹の赤ちゃんがこの世に生まれず、あの世に生まれて、その so, uh, Mama's setting is that her baby was born, unfortunately, on the other side and not in her world. So, uh, but however, they are still connected by the umbilical cord. So that's why she can't. Um, uh, that's how they kind of exist. So she's a she has a sad background where she can't move because her baby is actually on the other side and she's on the uh, the real world and they're still connected. That's why she can't move from that location. I have another one to see. Uh, another show you. one. Okay, let's check it out. We got a lot of stuff for you. Yeah. City ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. Try adjusting the acetosis dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. Uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. 
Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You say there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the Cairo network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. That was an introduction of uh, Dead Man played by Guillermo uh, del Toro and also an introduction of BB. Now you saw the video explaining what BB was about and you saw that Sam always had this uh, baby in his pod uh, and wondering what it was about. So that gives a great explanation of it. So it's a, again another kind of a sad uh, story that Sam has with the BB because the BB is connected to the world of the dead and that allows the connection between BB and Sam so that the Sam could see the BTs. So you, will, so you will kind of um, have this journey with the baby together and you will have uh, attachment and, and more connection and that will be the part of the gameplay. Wow. Well, it's uh, pretty amazing to see the level that you're thinking of, of the two worlds, everything coming together. Um, it's, it's amazing. Uh, well, Mr. Kojima, uh, I think everyone here is excited to see characters, but I don't know about you, but wouldn't you want to see some gameplay of Death Stranding? Not time for that, right? Um, I'm kind of thinking of showing the gameplay at Tokyo Game Show. Oh, no, but, no, but, but, but. Uh, uh, Jeff, since it's, uh, it's Jeff's show and everyone's so excited, I would like to show you just a little bit of it. It'll be, it'll be kind of a hint to you as well. And uh, of course, there'll be a little gameplay that I would like to show you next, but there'll be a kind of a star that will come out. Make sure you catch that star that appears. Let's look at it together. All right, here we go. The first gameplay, Death Stranding. Get it moving.
I'm Sam! Hey! Anybody hear me? How you doing, Sam? Delivering cargo. So, uh, I'm gonna need a moment to look over what you brought me. But I'll hit you back via mail after. Promise. Hey, I'm hoping maybe you can help me out again. Don't wanna be weird, but I, I feel you and I might have, like, a connection or something. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Thank you! Kindly! Come back soon. Weapons restrictions lifted. Uh, the voice is different, but we uh, asked uh, Jeff to appear in our game as a cameo.
Thank you. It was honored to be asked to be uh, in the game. Matthew Mercer actually does the voice of uh, the character that I play in the game. And I know there are a bunch of cameos um, in the game as well from, uh, from friends of yours. Um, tell me a bit about the, the gameplay that we got to see there. Um, what do, I know, you know it's a new style of game. And you've talked about, you know, the strand genre. And I think it's very important for people to see there are a lot of hints there about the type of game that you're going to be able to play. I can't really say so much, but you're, you're going to play as Sam, and um, you're going to have to connect the fractured uh, cities and people from east to west, and you have to connect from east to west. And there are uh, some obstacles in the way, like BTs or terrorists, to avoid that. And there are, uh, along the way, you'll find people like living alone, like you saw Jeff, uh, we call it preppers. There are actually kind of hiding, so some preppers uh, don't really have to do with the main storyline. So, so you might want to find uh, these preppers along the way, and if you kind of get connected with them, you might have some good things that they provide you. So, so I can't really reveal too much, but when you start to connect like this in the game with preppers and others, you will notice that you're kind of uh, connected to the people worldwide. So in, in the video with Mr. Del Toro, uh, he explained about the baby sometimes get uh, self-poisoned. Uh, you saw in the gameplay as well when you kind of felt uh, the baby is stressed. So what you do is you use the PlayStation 4's motion controller uh, sensitive controller, and you kind of like. Uh, uh, but if you shake too, too fast, the baby will get angry. So make sure you kind of handle with care. Um, about the urine part, I have to say. It's, uh, it's late enough to kind of discuss about that, right? Okay. So if you're like, try to be. Try to move the camera and try to see what he's doing. Sam will move away, so you'll never see actually what he's doing. But and also there is an option where you cannot uh, release yourself like that. Like, in, like if people are near you, so don't worry, Norman fans. You won't have to be, you know, um, uh, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Although I heard. Uh, is it true that that also can be a weapon, though, in the game? So, uh, yes, it could be used as a weapon, but also it, it could kind of... Um, it, it will be a kind of one of the key, uh, and you'll find out later. You saw the mushroom growing, so if everyone kind of does it at the same spot, it will, you will have something good later on. <laughs> well, of course, that's not the main part of the game, okay? <laughs> the main part is to connect the world together. Wow. Well, I got to say, it's so amazing um, to, you know, get a little insight into your mind between those clips and the gameplay. I think everyone's trying to piece together how this all fits together. Um, but it's amazing stuff. Now, I know we have some photos when I got this. It was a couple of years ago when you scanned me. You wouldn't even tell me what we were doing, but you're like, come down to San Diego, I sit here, they put dots on my face, they did the full scan. I was there the same day that Nicholas Wynn and Refn did his scan as well. Uh, this was like, I think, September, October, two years ago. And I didn't know what you were going to do with it. You're like, trust me, Jeff. I'm like, okay, sure. And then I find out I'm Luden's fan, right? <laughs> あの、彼のとこ行って、彼でいろいろこう仲良くなると 
いいものをくれたりするので。So if you find him in the game and if you go to him、um, and、um, make the connection with him, he might give you something good. あのまあジェフは比較的見つけやすいところに隠れてるんで。Uh, Jeff is actually kind of apparent, and you could find him easily. So when the game comes out, just look for Jeff. <laughs> well, I'm honored to have a little role with a cameo, and there'll be some other cameos, I'm sure, as well in this game. So, this is not a lot of people who are in the cameo. Yes, I can't really say who yet, but there are many people in cameos. <laughs> Mr. Kojima,、uh, Thank you so much for coming all this way to share a little bit more of Death Stranding with us. What do you guys think? Pretty insane, right? Hideo Kojima. There's so much there, and we don't have to wait long because you guys are on track for the game to come out this November, right? Excellent. All right, Mr. Kojima, thank you so much. The Sony booth and the signing session? Yes, that's right. And Mr. Kojima will also be doing a signing session here at Gamescom, right? And that'll be.、Uh, just just a, uh, one more thing, sorry. I don't know if I can tell you what I'm doing. I don't know if I can tell you what I'm doing. I don't know if I can tell you what I'm doing. I don't know if I can tell you what I'm doing. I don't know if I can tell you what I'm doing. I don't know if I can tell you what I'm doing. I don't know if I can tell you what I'm doing. The reason why Sam has to do this, the briefing scenes,、uh, you'll see at the Sony booth from tomorrow. So if you have time, just stop by. And if you see that, you'll understand what you saw today with、uh, trying to find Jeff and things like that. So it will be,、uh, you'll, you'll get to be revealed more and you'll be understanding what we saw today. Awesome. All right. So there's a briefing scene at the Sony booth. Mr. Kojima will also be doing a signing. And I can't tell you how much we all appreciate you coming all the way from Tokyo just as you're finishing the game to be here for me, to be here for the fans.、Uh, give it up, Mr. Kojima. He's just finishing the game. Hideo Kojima, thank you so much, my friend. It's always such a pleasure. Aki, thank you so much. Hideo Kojima. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for our first ever Gamescom opening night live.、Um, do you guys